it's a love-hate relationship, but it's something that uh, uh, I have over time necessarily become good at. I'm old school. I believe that a scrambled egg, or an omelet for that matter, is principally about the egg. So uh, I use a hot pan, not too terribly hot, but hot. I crack my eggs on a flat surface, put them into an intermediate uh, vessel, like a little cup where I can make sure there's no shells involved, uh, so no shells get into the actual mix. I beat them, being careful not to overbeat them uh, with the fork. Uh, you do want to sort of have a ripple of uh, white and yellow throughout. You just don't want to make it a complete sort of homogenous yellow. Always fresh, also very important. You want a good fresh egg, and you want to do this, meaning you want to beat your egg just prior to putting them in the pan. You don't want to do that ahead of time and let it sit. That You get this sort of odd graying, stippling effect that uh, you probably recognize from greasy spoons. Uh, you don't want that. Salt and pepper. I don't add water. I don't add cream. I just don't feel that, uh, that, that, that milk or cream adds anything. Um, again, it's about the egg, you know, you're not making a quiche here, you're making scrambled eggs. I move them into the, uh, into the pan, into a preheated hot pan with uh, plenty of uh, hot foaming whole butter. And then I let them form up a little bit and then push them around using sort of a figure eight pattern to, I don't know whether you'd say, sort of fold. You know, you don't want tiny little bits of egg as your final product, you want something fluffy, airy, rippled, uh, with a nice textural note where you taste the egg. Very, very simple dish, but like a lot of really uh, good simple things, uh, more often than not, people find a way to overcomplicate them and screw them up. <laughs>